Minecraft, the true start to the previous generation. I'm a of Chaotic Reunion and I have an idea that I want to share here. So many people who know me know that I'm actually not the biggest fan of playing Minecraft. There's a reason to that. Minecraft is a game I could never get into because it was never a game that I myself could ever learn. Why couldn't I ever learn it? It's because the game's touted as a game you want to play cooperatively with a bunch of friends and playing by yourself can lead to a less enjoyable experience. Well, anytime I wanted to play a cooperative game, people tend to be much more knowledgeable in the game than I was, and while that doesn't bother me in many cases, in Minecraft it's particularly problematic because I always wanted to learn on my own. I wanted to make my mistakes and learn from them and just have a good time figuring out the game. And I can't you can't do that with people who know exactly what to do, where to go, how to get this, 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 and this. This is just my personal preference. However, many people have taken this as to the reason as to why I don't like Minecraft. No, I like Minecraft. In fact, I respect Minecraft a great deal because it's done something in the past few years that has made a big smile come to my face. So let's break this down a little bit. What has Minecraft done that is so commendable? Well, I have two big reasons and a few others that I'll str sprinkle in there as I go along. The first big reason that Minecraft really kicked off the next generation is that we were in a time where graphics were everything. Games looked good, or tried to with their limitations at the time, and tried to be as flashy and cinematic, and while that hasn't necessarily changed in a lot of AAA developments, what, it, what Minecraft did was show that indie games can truly be successful. Back then, when Minecraft came out in about, I want to say 2010, 20, 2011 about, Minecraft was just another indie game, but it drew a lot of attention. Why? Because it appealed to the base sense of LEGO. Now, keep in mind, back in 2020, 2011, we had a lot of graphical powerhouses on the Xbox 360 and PS3 that were really trying to show off that this is something that can compete with each other, they look good, and all that stuff. But then here comes Minecraft, which is just a simple game about building and surviving in an environment that can be very hostile. Minecraft did something that I never thought when I was younger was possible. And, you know, I was... A little bit younger not too much younger but indie development can survive in this genre and that's amazing so many good things have come out of indie development in the last few years but minecraft is the game i look back that started to show this success Sure, I am guarantee they were small development companies that were making small games that we would classify, or they already were classified as indie. But Minecraft really showed us, hey, a small team can make something awesome and grow in to make such a profitable and, well, such a great, fr I wouldn't even say franchise, it's just one game that survived over this amount of time. It's a passion, something that started as a passion that has now grown into a company. It's just, Minecraft really showed us what the what things were capable of. Indie development is spiraling in successes many a time. And I know a ton of people now who don't touch AAA games anymore. They play indie titles because they are something that inspire creativity again. And sure, there's, there are AAA developments that do lead to creativity that many of us would gr just, we, we greatly enjoy. But in the indie market, people are trying all kinds of ideas that would baffle the AAA development. Why is that? Because AAA development is based around the market. 
it looks at many cases what's working because it's a lot of money to toss into something that is experimental. However, with the indie market being able to put, put less resources, albeit with a less lesser development team, meaning it's probably a bigger risk for that development team, they're able to come up with something far smaller that tests these new theories and tests these new games and shows the creative side of gaming again, and it's glorious. Many of these ideas, if they become popular enough, I guarantee would make it into AAA development and can create some things that are just wonderful and will truly move our generation forward in gaming. The Xbox One and PS4, let's face it, didn't really do anything of value when they came out in 2013. It was just, hey, we got consoles! Yay! That's it. You can have a machine that does what you did previously with some eh AAA games, but what have I used my Xbox One for recently? A lot. My Xbox One has been used for indie development, and this is all possible because of Minecraft! At least, like, I want to be explicitly clear that while I do not have a background of marketing or true, I am just one person who has an opinion here, but I feel that Minecraft really stepped us in a direction that was great for us. And that's just one reason. The other reason that Minecraft is so respectable to me is that it created such a community. Minecraft gave us, in such a simple little thing that was, albeit updated, the, the ability to create such wonderful creations and share them with the world. There is a massive player base still playing Minecraft, still making servers, dedicating themselves to creating awesome games together, situ experiences, and just projects in general. One notable project that's still going on is the RPG Makers from uh, OMFG Kata or Jesse Cox, whatever he's called, whatever it's called this nowadays. I'll put a link in the description. It's just something like that can spawn from a small little game like this. The community is thriving. And that's something that we've been missing in things that are built around a community. Look at a game like Destiny, for example. Minecraft was built in around the idea that you can play it by yourself or you can get a bunch of friends together. It wasn't built to be an MMO, massively multiplayer online game. Destiny was. Destiny was built that you were supposed to play with a ton of people. And it fails in the very aspect that it tries to complete. Because it's trying too hard to be a game that requires progression. Minecraft doesn't require progression. Minecraft requires that you enjoy yourself. <laughs> if you don't enjoy yourself, the game has no problems with you turning it off. It's just that simple that the game is fun to its core to many people. That we built a community around it. Games that are single player can have just as big a community in games that are multiplayer if the game is fun. I've seen many people, especially in my friend group, that have enjoyed Wolfenstein The New Order, which came out last year, that were in a community that were talking with each other despite the game that was only single player. They just talked about their experiences and just found secrets together and all that fun stuff. If a game is good, it drives a community to connect and make these projects that are just awesome. And Minecraft does that in spades. Truth be told, I know when it comes to the standard idea of next gen, we look at graphics and such, and the common market has a uh, standard for graphical fidelity that consoles must meet, which is why in many cases games don't run at a specific frame rate anymore. But I don't believe we ever hit the next gen this past year. I think we hit that next gen back when Minecraft fully released in 2011, I want to say. I'll be 
I'm sorry if my dates are incorrect, but when M Minecraft truly launched the idea that indie development was possible, new creative ideas started to spur and just come out, and it was just a great time just to be a gamer. Minecraft is incredibly popular, and it spawned from indie development. I respect this game wholeheartedly as it spawned such amazing creativity in the gaming world. We want to all mimic the success that Minecraft got, but in order to do that, we need to create something spectacular. Something that allows the community not only to play the game, but to create amazing experiences with. I've been Avier of Chaotic Reunion, and I'll see you all in the next one.